It is time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament where I have an admission to make. I neglect neglected to draw this objective card. Not a big deal. Um, but it could be a big deal because these people, they have even more incentive not to be miserable. So the reward is unity if they're not miserable when we get to the next um, chapter. It's down here somewhere. So they got some time to try not to be miserable. But that means that they need to collect some certain things. And if you look at their spirit cards, um, Dick wants cigarettes, uh, Tater as in Tot wants coffee, as does Desi. So that could be interesting because we have two people who want coffee, one person who wants cigarettes, but really as a group they want to keep from being miserable or they will, someone will become ill which is not good. Um, there's another issue they have to deal with, and that is a lack of water, and a lack of food, and just a general lack. Uh, that, that scavenging from last time that Dick went on did not go very well. Um, when I played this before, it seemed like you usually got a lot more things, so, much, so many things that you had to leave some stuff behind, but this time that didn't happen. There's a couple ideas of what to do about all of these collective collective problems. Um, the most obvious solution uh, is to kind of shoot in the dark and get into that furniture, which they could do if they made a concerted effort this turn. Tater is also suggesting that someone go outside. If you go outside, you can try to get someone else to join. They, you know, they have some trepidation about that because they would like to. Um, you know, keep all the points for themselves. But if they die, then they lose a bunch of points. So, I don't know. So they're going to have to decide what they're going to do and do it. And that's what we'll do. And then we'll do it. But first, let's draw our event. And it's snipers. So we add one cold to the space. Um, that's not too bad. Cold is something we will have to deal with eventually because it can cause illness uh, depending on what the fate card says it's a certain amount of cold minus boarding up. Boarding up is also really good to do because it uh, helps protect you from outside invaders. So snipers, we put this on the findings pile, which is right there. I'll probably put it above the findings pile because it's easier to draw findings cards. And when you scavenge, and roll the red combat die for each scavenging character. Ooh, this is bad. They may use their prowess to re-roll the results. So prowess is a stat. Um, Dick has got the best prowess, which means he's probably still going to be the designated scavenger here. Scavenging is pretty useful, um, but if they go out, they could get wounded. And wounding is pretty nasty in this game. It's really hard to f heal yourself, especially if there's no hospital out there. You can bandage yourself up, but that generally just protects you from getting further wounded, <laughs> from bleeding out. Um, but occasionally, it, 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 it's all, it all depends on the fate die, what happens when you have that kind of thing. All right, so we have that situation. Um, it's probably going to be Dick Goes Out anyway, which means Tater might be the designated restee. It's good to, like, you know, take turns resting. Someone has to guard. Um, so we'll see. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. we got to choose actions. All right, using the argument that... Um, Having more people would require more food and water. Um, they have convinced Tater as in Tot that shouldn't go outside right now. Uh, the reason why this is kind of an issue is because, okay, there's two kind of obvious actions, which is to take care of these things. Furniture tends to have good stuff in it. Um, and so they have a third person. What's that third person going to do this turn? Um, could be that Desi goes and pokes about. Uh, poking about would add some more components here and wood, but we're getting kind of low from our, our thing here and how many you can have. And if, you know, the furniture comes up with components in wood too, then we're just kind of wasting an action because we could get a bunch of components in wood from here, which is, there's a good chance of that. And then you do this and it'd be kind of wasted action. So then what does that leave for us to do? could go outside, which is kind of what Tater wanted to do. Uh, you could get a new idea, which gives you these like upgraded stu stuff you can add to your, your building. Or you could build. So if, if we build, which seems like the most compelling, 
because um, then it uses some components in wood, thus not wasting future actions that add components in wood or future findings that add components in wood or whatever. Um, what can you build? Because we have a lot of components in wood, but we don't have a lot of parts. And there's really only two things that don't require parts that we don't have. Um, so we could build a simple heater, which is used to deal with the cold, it removes cold. Or we could build a metal workshop, which allows you to then build a bunch of other stuff, a bunch of tools and things. I think they're going to go with the metal workshop because the cold is not a super big issue right now. And as we saw before, not having a weapon and not having certain tools can be a problem, especially a weapon. Like a hatchet would be good, because then they could use this dead-on card, for example. So I think what's going to happen is Dick's going to come up here to the closed door, use the lockpick, because he's very good with lockpicks. Um, I think Desi seems to be the fix-it guy. It doesn't really matter who does this, however, so but he likes to think of himself as the fix-it guy. So he'll actually put a metal workshop down there, and then Tater will use the shovel to dig up rubble. And that'll leave, uh, make things open for, for getting at this furniture. Next action, and then um, we'll have to come up with one other action, which could be, we don't have weapon parts for that. No weapon parts. I'm just looking at the um, metal workshop, what they could build. Could build a shovel, we already have one. So probably wouldn't build anything out of that. So maybe someone will go outside but then that'll raise the issue of, yeah. Dick successfully opened the door with the lockpick. It was helpful that he was the one to do it because he had to re-roll. His first roll was unsuccessful. Unfortunately, when you use the lockpick, it goes away, so that's that's a bummer. But he's gonna take a nap. They just, then everyone will be fresh tomorrow, which is nice, except for um, Desi, who will have some fatigue. He's gonna take a nap and then go out to find things, and then Tater is going to sleep on the, f on the bed at, uh, at night, and then Desi will be the guard, okay? So now let's see what we got in this furniture. Oh, we got enough food to, to make it through, and some bandages, and a bunch of stuff. See, furniture is very nice. I think the hierarchy is heap, and then furniture. And then up here, we got some water and some more stuff. So we're not going to have enough water for everyone but that might be okay. I mean, it's not the end of the world. Uh, one of the hazards of not having water is you either get hungry or you get miserable. Um, Tater actually has an ability to lower her misery or make it better. So if she's the one who does without water, which I don't know if she'll agree to that, but if she is the one who does without water, then she can possibly mitigate the, the bad stuff about that. That's a non-issue. There's water on this card too. So, uh, so sorry, I'm, I'm talking faster than I'm thinking, which is generally not a good policy. I'll try to change that policy and get back to you soon. Here's an interesting inconsistency about the game that maybe you can help me think out. Because I tried to think about it, but it didn't work. So I'm going to just talk. Um, so you, you can be limited in your actions by the amount of fatigue you have, right? Uh, so we're on the third action now. Both uh, Dick and Desi are able to do a third action. Tater is not able to because she's too tired. But why couldn't her action then be to sleep on the bed? Because she's too tired to do anything, so can't she go to sleep? Or is she just too tired to go to sleep? I That doesn't make sense to me. And I know you could say, well, it's just a game mechanism. But I don't think that this is that type of game. So I'm going to say she can just sleep on the bed. I don't see why she couldn't take a nap while everyone else does another action. All right? Um, that's a house rule I'm making right now. I didn't even know I was going to do that until I talked to you. So thank you for helping me talk that out. You can always use a black action to sleep on the bed. Maybe that makes the bed really powerful. But it's okay if we break the game a little bit. Because the real people multi game solitaire merry tournament doesn't have to be fair, and we are playing this game competitively in a way. 
So a semi-cooperative scenario. So it's more interesting to see the story play out than to see whether or not you we beat the game. Because we're probably not going to beat the game. In case I haven't said it before, if everyone dies, if these three all die, um, and whoever else they, they find dies, uh, we're just going to draw some new people and have them come, and we're going to complete this whole events deck. So we're going to beat the game, quote-unquote, because we're cheating in the game's eyes. But we're kind of making a new game where it's not about beating the game, so that's actually a non-issue. It's about how long each person can survive in this war of mine. Okay, now here we come to a reason why, one of the reasons why, this game is generally not played with each character, each player running one character. And that is because you are going to be limited in resources, and in each turn you kind of use the resources simultaneously. So here we have a situation where Dick would kind of like to build an herbal garden because it, uh, you can roll... You can roll cigarettes if you have an herbal garden. I don't quite understand why you need the garden to do it. If you have herbs, can't you just do it? Maybe the garden provides paper. I don't know. But you can use it to, to roll cigarettes, which he would like to avoid misery. Um, everyone else, this, these are the kind of things they can reasonably build that they maybe find interesting. They're probably not going to do the moonshine still. That doesn't seem that compelling right now. The, so it comes down to the heater, and the workshop, and the herbal garden. So Dick's kind of in favor of the herbal garden, though he could see the, the argument for the workshop. Um, but say he was like dead set, I want to build an herbal garden. Everyone else was like, no, I want to build a workshop. But they had characters. How do you decide who goes first? I guess there is a, a way that play can be passed. Um, and the thing which is how you normally make decisions in the game. Uh, you take turns, like every time a decision comes up, you, you pass to the next player, and then they make the next decision. But since we have a character-based uh, mechanism, and we're, we haven't been keeping track of that, we, we can't really do that. Um, so I think they will build a workshop. And just thought I'd point that out. Some, some people might be like, oh, why can't everyone just play a, a, a character? I'd rather identify with a person than with a group. Um, that's that's poss possibly why, and I would I would um, argue that board games are better at identifying with groups or with systems than they are with with characters, um, though they can be used for that. I don't think it's really the forte of the medium. And night has fallen. Tater gets to stay in bed, uh, while the other two have to go out and do this stuff. So let's see if the snipers have gotten. Uh, have shot Dick. So we're going to roll this red die. If there's any wounds, he will probably re-roll it. There's two wounds. He will definitely re-roll that. He gets to re-roll it twice because his prowess is two. There, oh, dot, dot, dot. I think that's probably safe. Let's see. Roll the red I'll have to see what dot 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 means um, in the book, and I'll do that now. It means they're out of ammunition. So Lucky Dick, he's going back to Old Town. He's got vegetables. They still don't have food or, or water source. Um, so that's going to, and their, their low hanging fruit is kind of all gone. The kind of easy stuff to find in their thing. So a lot is hinging on what Dick can can wrangle up here. So we're going to look through the exploration. Um, basement entrance. There's no basement entrance in Old Town. That would be on the corner here. Notice how the color here is similar to the color there. And it both, they both have the ripped paper. Um, bars. Oh, yeah. I don't draw from there. I kind of cheated. Sorry. Uh, we draw from here. Tough luck. Roll for noise. That's not a big deal. Noise is one. I guess it could be if he gets a one. It is a big deal. Oh, my gosh. Okay, residents. Soldiers. That's bad. That's really bad. Um, so I have to get the soldiers set up. Either you surrender with a total value of 10 or more, or combat begins. So combat's going to begin because I can't surrender. There's nothing in the findings pile to discard. Um, this is bad. Dick could be in trouble which would make everyone else in trouble because they're all counting on Dick. 
All right, we got two soldiers with uh, assault rifles. I'm having a hard time figuring out their motivation. I'm not going to change the rules for this. Um, the, the game says they're going to attack you. Uh, I guess you there is an option after they shoot at you <laughs> to talk to them. But so, like, which side are these soldiers on? So we have these um, the, this uprising, right, which is uh, under siege within the city. So are these people from outside the city who got in or are the people who are committing the uprising are they kind of um, using terrorist tactics and just like kind of killing civilians as a as a thing i don't i don't understand why they would just fire on somebody or maybe this is like a secure location this place that dick stumbled into and it was just tough luck um should we should be I could have lowered the noise by five, but that wouldn't have done any good. All right, so there's going to be a round of combat regardless. And can I use prowess to re-roll what they do? I'm just really worried about Dick here. Dick's an affable guy. I hate to see him go. Yeah, if he dies here, he's out of the tournament. Two shots. That would be two wounds. And... This is for the other one. They both have assault rifles in that. I think that means I draw a card from the Fate deck. Dismemberment. The target suffers three wounds. So that's going to kill Dick unless he can re-roll things somehow. And I'll have to check on that. I think he probably can. He's got prowess. He can dodge it, right? He can dodge it, right? You can dodge it, Dick, can't you? You can dodge it. Okay, Dick uh, does not get to re-roll their stuff. He can't dodge bullets, but the, the person who rolled this, which came up with three wounds, would have had to re-roll that. So we'll do that, even though the fate card told us wounds. When we rolled the die, we wouldn't have known that. All right, so that's still four wounds. That's enough to kill Dick, and I don't think there's anything else to be said or done about it. That was really, really tough luck in a lot of ways. We drew the tough luck card from here. It wasn't even supposed to be in our exploration path. Um, and then we rolled that one, which is such a kind of a, a sad and fitting way for the cat burglar to go out is to like just have, a, have some really bad luck. And so we will uh, find the death thing death token and we'll find Erica's epilogue which will double as Dick's epilogue sorry fellows Dick was as tough as they come but even he could not survive the harsh reality of living in the ghetto was incomparable to the horrors of war remove this character from the game just to, to further compound on what bad luck that was I mean this game it can be very harsh, but this was very harsh. See this icon up here? There were no cards in, with the, this icon in the deck at the beginning of the game. Um, after each turn, you, you shuffle two cards in. I only shuffled one into this deck, because you, you can also shuffle them into this deck. I did one each, just because. Um, so that is, oh, this is going to go back into the deck. But we're going to move on to Night Raids, see what Desi's been dealing with meanwhile. It's a raging gang. <laughs> oh, Dick was supposed to be able to fight back. I guess we'll see if he got any blows in before he... Ooh, this actually could change things. Dodge. Lower wounds suffered this round by three. Dick's not dead. <laughs> Talking about, the, about luck, and then luck just kind of flips around, and he's not dead. He's really hurt, though. So we'll forget the raging gang. Well, well, yeah, his choices aren't going to change based on that. Um, bring Dick back, and wow. Hi, hey Dick. Welcome back. Um, sorry about that. You can either try to talk your way out of this or run away. If you run away, you're going to get shot at twice. Um, you only have one wound now. Uh, if you try to talk it out, you're going to get... Um, at most two wounds. So you'll be able to survive regardless. Should we try to talk about it? Uh, let's try to talk about it. So here are his options. He can sacrifice himself. 
um, so that everyone else there can run away. He probably won't do that. He can't give some loot back. That's kind of the same thing as before. So he just has to surrender and beg for mercy. Um, so we're going to roll the black die. And if there's a one or two, he gets two wounds. Three or four, one wound. Five or more, no wounds suffered. And we're going to lose some exploration cards, some time, because it takes time to beg for mercy. So we want five or higher. We got a four. So he's going to get another wound. They just, like, kick him for good measure. And he's going to continue exploring. Uh, two, three, four, and see what we got here. That was that was an emotional roller coaster, but I guess it's the fickleness of luck and not being full with the procedure. I need to try to follow all the procedures instead of doing things fast. Um, so he could return two exploration cards or raise the noise by two and roll for noise. I think he's going to just go for it. Dick uh, really wants to be a hero here. Uh, he's frightened, but if he comes back with some stuff, things are even better. Yeah, things are looking up for Dick. Closed door. Is there a closed door up there? No, there's a jam door. So we're going to draw one from here. He can poke about. Return one exploration card or roll for, to choose one finding from the special findings chart for this location. Um, he'll return one card. That's not bad. And choose a special finding. Cam's Moonshine Vegetable. We'll take a vegetable. Things are coming up. Dick, here we go. Let's see what else we got. Open space. There's no open space in the old town. You may ignore this card or search the furniture. Um, okay, does he chance the... He's running out of exploration cards. He could lower it by... Noise, noise, I want to roll for noise. I think he is. He doesn't want to roll for noise here. He really wants this furniture. So he's going to return two exploration cards. This is why it doesn't really work to have that on there. I, I think I'll put it up here. That makes more sense. Oh, maybe that's what they mean when they say put it on the findings pile. They don't mean put it on this. They mean put it up there. That makes more sense. Okay, so let's see what kind of furniture we got. We got a weapon part. Great. We got raw food. Great. And we get uh, something else, maybe. We got another vegetable. We just got fed for tomorrow. Everything we need to eat. No water yet. I don't think you... I've never found water out and about. But that's great. We'll just kind of set that... I'm supposed to shuffle that in. But I, I want to get give you the joy of scavenging without stopping. So we'll just do that jam door. There is a jam door. Okay, we can kick in the door. Or we could add three car Oh, and then we get to add three cards from the exploration deck. Okay, so we're going to return one exploration card. Raise the noise by three. Dick's going to lower the noise by five. And then roll for noise. I don't know how his cat burglar skills helped him do that. Uh, maybe put his shirt... On the door. Okay, so he's good. And then we get to add three cards and resolve a findings card. See? Another vegetable, another weapon part. Oh, I'm putting them in the wrong spot, aren't I? Raw food, vegetables. Um, I'm get two weapons part from before. I, I oftentimes just put them directly in storage, and that's a big no no. I gotta follow the process. Um, did he have a vegetable already? He did. So, oh, there was this one. Yeah. Okay, so I got two vegetables. Weapons part, a shell. I think that's something you use with a weapon. I've never used a shell in this game. It's not, it looks like a, a gun shell. Yeah. And we got a roll, a die. A two, nothing. All right, that's okay. Things are looking good. Things are looking good. Yeah, let's kind of do this kind of thing. We're just going to put it at the bottom. We'll shuffle it later. I know that's not totally random. You're supposed to have a chance of getting the same card. but Stairs down. Look for another way or raise the noise by three and roll for noise. Okay, so he's already got... Does he have his limit of stuff yet? No, he doesn't. Um, 
He's going to chance it. He's going to raise the noise by three and roll the die. No! Dick, you're too much of a daredevil. Rats! Phew, it was nothing. Just some rats. We can try to catch a rat, perform a backstab. If the characters pre present deal three or more wounds, they manage to catch and kill something. That's not going to happen. Uh, so we're going to just keep exploring. Still, that's good. I should probably be shuffling these back in, but I'm not. I think I saw something. Add the number of... Oh, okay. So... Dick is going to return this. He kind of overchanced it. Um, if So we have to roll, and if we get um, less than five, there's going to be another residence card. Now we do get to add one to the die roll. Yay! Okay, so Dick's going to come back home. Meanwhile, Desi is dealing with this raging gang. Now this is a problem. And again, we have the bad luck with this explanation point here. That means that... So we're going to take all of this, and basically Desi can lower it by what he gets on this die roll. He gets one re-roll, and he might be doomed. Two. So he can lower it by two. Now here he could take it for the team and just die. Or he could use both of those twos just to help himself. I think the choice is clear. This is a case where if you were playing cooperatively, you might decide uh, to just like let this character die so that everyone else can be okay. But Desi's not going to do that. He is like bleeding on the floor here. And what are, what's Desi's score at? Yeah, so he would be out of the tournament. So he's not going to do that. This is going to piss some people off because they would rather he sacrifice himself. So we got to lose eight things. Um, where did that card go? Oh, yeah. Uh, starting with the most expensive. So we'll go for most to least expensive. Lose our bandages, or meds. Bandages would have helped keep them alive. Um, now six more things. Oh wait, if I... Yeah, three. Um, I guess this is next. Our shovel. Our electrical part. This is really sad. I guess you can kind of choose between these. I don't know. Herbs have a dollar amount on them, so we'll go with there. Eight things. Seven, and I guess a piece of wood. Rough night. We got some stuff, but we lost, I think, probably more than we gained. Just going into a little subtext here before we go forward. Not, not, well, subtext in that I was thinking it. Um, so both Desi and Dick are ladies' men. They are in this building together with someone that they find attractive. So they're both trying to impress her. Desi just had to make a choice between impressing Tater and being dead or not impressing Tater. He chose, and being alive, maybe. Uh, he chose the less noble route, I guess. But um, So we're going into the fate thing here. The fate phase, which is called morning or dawn and it could be that both Desi and Dick end up dying because of Desi's selfishness because we have no bandages for our wounded it could have been Dick came back you know taking some risks able to bandage himself up you know things would be bad but not that bad but then he'd be alone with Tater and Desi might get a little jealous so let's draw a fate card, see what happens. I really should mix it up before this, because I did draw some fate cards without shuffling. Oh, one fell out. Let's see what fell out. Okay. Raise the wounds of all wounded, unbandaged characters by one. So Desi's out anyway. It was all for nothing, Desi. We'll read his epilogue. And we'll transfer this wounds three over to Dick, because he is going to also be have his wounds raised. Lower the illness, blah, blah, blah. No one's ill. Cold is not an issue. We have to exchange the near small location. There aren't any, so we do the medium one. Is that, uh, that's usually the case? Nope. 
resolve weight tokens. We don't have any in Spirit A. So now Spirit A, and I want to eulogize Desi prop properly, but I just want to finish this card first. Spirit A is just going to raise everyone's misery to, by two. Then we're going to get one of these. We have duty, raise one and fatigue in order to do some other stuff. Close call. I think we're going to keep this just because we're getting killed by people. By monsters is what they are. Monsters of war. Desi's reward for all his efforts was a shallow grave. If his wife and daughters survive their own trials and tribulations of war, then maybe they will find it someday. Remove this character from the game.